So basically, I'm just gonna talk through, because I do this, I think, every year, my boobies, bye. So the very first thing I'm doing is putting on a teeth whitening strip. I say this a lot, but I'm in a rush because I wasn't in a rush at all. But then my day just became rushy-like. I became a Russian citizen. A citizen of Russia. Okay, that sits on for half an hour. I'm using the Touche Eclat Blur Primer from Yves Saint Laurent. I'm so rich, like it's full of gold. <laughs> so hello everybody, welcome to my Halloween Get Ready With Me. I am going out the weekend before Halloween because that's just how it worked out this year. So Halloween's on a Thursday. And I was like, do we go out the weekend after Halloween, but then like Halloween's over? Or do you go out before? So basically the big things in our city are before Halloween. I'm going to our local gay bar, which is an amazing bar. I love it. It's called Pink. If you guys are from the city. Okay, so I'm using the Smashbox Studio Skin Full Coverage 24 Hour Foundation. Okay, when I first use this, so I bought this in my, um, when I went to the mall and I just got everyone in the mall to recommend me things. Like I bought everything everyone recommended for me in stores. And when I first like applied it, I was like, no, I hate this because I felt like it was really, really like drying, but it sets well. Like right now it looks like kind of orangey, but as soon as it set and like dried down, I became obsessed. I love this foundation. It's not like my favorite foundation. My favorite one is still like the Kat Von D one, but it definitely is high up there. And I did get color matched, so if the color doesn't match, blame Sephora, not me. <laughs> what are you guys doing for actually Halloween day? I don't think I'm doing anything. I'm just gonna be boring. I'm doing something the weekend before, like right now. And I'm gonna have fun. And if you guys are on the vlog channel, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna bring the camera. I don't know if I can or if I should, but I'm dressing up as Buzz Lightyear from Toy Story. Now, that Disney movie, I always say like, I don't watch Disney movies, don't really like Disney movies, but that Disney movie is like the only one that I would always watch as a kid and enjoyed was Toy Story. My mom informed me that I did watch Lion King when I was little. I thought I didn't see like any Disney movies. I just wasn't interested in them, I guess, but I have seen them. Oh my God, I'm getting like foundation in my hair and I'm going with a bunch of hairdressers. So they're gonna be like cringing at me, but people cringe at me anyway. So is it really anything different in my life? <laughs> was anyone else Buzz Lightyear for Halloween? Please let me know. As soon as I saw this, I was like, that's what I wanna be. It's just so, different and I've never seen anything like it. I wanted my best friend to be Woody. She actually was gonna be, but then we didn't really find a costume she liked for Woody. And she's really a last minute bitch. So she <laughs> we literally finished shopping for her costume. Like, an, like uh, that's why I'm late doing this. She is being a Playboy bunny. So I'm being an astro. Nat. <laughs> I always question if I need another layer of foundation. Does anyone else do that? I'm almost out of this, girl. This is the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer and I really like this stuff. So I'm just gonna put on like that much, I think. I wanna be able to be like slayed, but not like high, I'm, I'm actually like a ghost for Halloween. Wherever you're going, like just be safe. Things are just getting a little scary. So make sure you are like watching your drinks. Like whenever I would hear that, I'm like, okay, yeah, like people say that all the time, watch your drinks, like I get it. But honestly, you could just be like holding your drink now and people People can like walk by and like drop something in it. You think you're watching your drink because you have it legit in your hands, but people are like, dropping shit like right in front of you and people not even knowing. So not only that, but just be safe in general. So now I'm taking the, what is this? Laura Mercier under eye powder. And I take actually a lot of this because I love how it looks and how it sets and it makes me flawless. Well, it makes me feel like I'm flawless, girl. Tonight, I am a VIP. So we have like a VIP bus, a section. I'm so excited. I'm somebody that I'm not like, a, like I'm not gonna flex and be like, mm -hmm -hmm. I'm just like genuinely excited. And I would love to, I think everyone should experience something VIP in their life, right? Um, if it was like every weekend and I'm like, hmm, I'm VIP again, 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 like I, then it, everyone would be like, please shut up. But like, this is like the first time that I'm actually going to something fun. Like, <laughs> 
and I'm an important person and people care about me. <laughs> Just kidding. I don't know why I've been doing this for my eyes lately. I think most of you guys might cringe, but I've been putting on this Urban Decay potion primer potion. I just put it on there. I take some more of this powder. I just take it on the tip and then I go like this. That is like literally my eyeshadow. That helps it from creasing. Recently have not been liking doing real eyeshadow. I feel like I get more compliments. I'm gonna turn down the brightness a little bit. I need to like get back into smoky eyes though because I genuinely like smoky eyes. Oh for everyone asking yes I am single. I feel like I get asked that question like so much, but I am single. To get like real personal, is my boob hanging out? No good, okay. To get real personal, I have been in like a relationship constantly since I was like 14. I don't know what to do with my hair. I'm like thinking of putting it in a ponytail, putting it in pigtails. I don't know what to do with it. I sometimes go on live stream, by the way, on my Instagram. I'm doing the Kevin Acoin contour thing. Sometimes when I go on live stream, you guys like, I can actually ask like, do you think this looks good? And you guys are always honest with me. If I'm like, does this look bad? You're like, yeah, like <laughs> it does. So I appreciate that. I wish I was on live right now. Cause then I can just be like, what should I do with my hair? Oh my God, there's, my hair's coated in foundation. Love that. <laughs> it's gonna be dark in the club anyway. That's what I always say, but like, <laughs> One time I said that to Carly Steele's friend and she was like, thanks. Cause I was like, it's gonna be dark in the club anyway. She's like, how's my makeup look? But it like literally had nothing to do with her makeup. Her makeup looks really good. Um, I was just saying that because I think people stress out about their makeup in the club. And I'm like, it is gonna be dark. But like, even if it's like bang and even if your makeup's like slayed, it's gonna look just as good as another girl or guy's makeup that just isn't that good because it, it's all dark you know what i mean when the lights come on though everyone's makeup is gonna be bad anyway because you're literally dancing unless you're a flop and you don't want to dance but like why go to a club if you're not gonna dance i guess some people just go for the vibe this is like the first year that i'm excited for halloween and i'm doing so i did i should say did so many halloween videos i did almost the entire month was like halloween videos i did hauls and taste tests, Halloween costumes, drunk tutorials. I just had a lot of fun this year. I'm doing my brows. So also I've been asked how I do my brows since I've got them microbladed. I still like fill them out a little bit, just like define the shape. I just feel like they look better if I do have some makeup on them. I used to be like so harsh down here. I just go like light down here now. I used to like legit draw like a straight line. And now I kind of just like fluff it out. I'm using the Anastasia Brow Wiz. And then I will go, don't get cringy. <laughs> I'll go like way messy out here like this. And then I take this side and then I just kind of like soften it out. I think Alexis is here. Wow, she showered very quick. Bye. She showered in like, wait, how long is it? Am I taking a long time? Maybe I'm taking a long time. Hello? Oh, hi. Okay, so I don't know why my eyebrows worked so well today, but they never look like that. Woo! I can't wait to get drunk. I'm gonna take the Jaclyn Hill palette and this one right here, which is in Abyss. I take this angled brush. This is what I've been doing recently. So all I'm doing is just pressing it onto my lash line. I feel like it's softer than um, just like liquid liner, even though I think I'm gonna do liquid liner also. I don't know what I'm really gonna do right now. I guess we'll see. I should have tested this out before, but it's gonna be dark in the club is what we said. And then I kind of like pile it up at the corner and then make a little bit of a fake wing. Okay, then I take just like a brush, like a little blender out, outer. Kind of soften it out, blend it out at the tops of it so it doesn't look as harsh. Just the tops of it, see? I don't know why I like that so much. I might screw it up, but I'm thinking of putting some liquid liner. I'm just gonna darken it up with just a touch. Like I'm just dotting it on. Oh, it kind of just looks like the liquid liner is like smoked out. I kind of like that. Okay, good, good, good. So it's like a harsh line and then it like smokes out on top. I don't know, okay. I just did a thing and I'm so excited for it. I'm gonna take that same brush and just do a little bit underneath. I hate that. I look like, I don't like that. I'm wiping it off. I don't like that at all. Okay, this looks so much better. I just redid the concealer um, and the under eyes, the powder, took that off. And then um, I took off the Crest White strip so my teeth look super white. And the next thing I'm gonna do is take off on the lips here, a foundation. So you guys don't drive drunk. It's not cute, it's not funny, it's not, don't take a chance. I'm gonna put on my lashes and I think that I'm going to do the So Extra Miami. I feel like everyone's makeup is gonna be so cute and mine's just like basic, bye. You know what I don't like also is controlling people in a relationship. I mean, of course, like nobody's like, oh, I love controlling people, but it irks me 
Like if people are like, I can't wear that because of my boyfriend or girlfriend. I can't say that because of my boyfriend or girlfriend. And I'm like, then why are you with that man? Or why you're with that girl? You shouldn't have to tell somebody what they should or shouldn't do. I forgot eyelash curler, I'll be right back. You're with somebody because of them. Don't try to change them. If you don't like something that they do, tell them about it. But if that's who they are, you can't change somebody for being them. And you shouldn't. And you shouldn't even want to change somebody for being themselves. I think that's just insane. See it from so many people. Um, and not only that, but like online too, I've been seeing it. And it's like disgusting. These are the, like, did I say Lily Lashes? So extra Miami. Is it stupid to want to wear pigtails? Like, I feel like I really want to wear pigtails. Why are these so fuzzy? Like, there's like fuzz all on them. Did I drop them in a freaking comforter? I like literally glued these on a sheet, but before I glued them onto my face. Like, I'm not even being funny. Love that for me. I really don't care. It's going to be dark in the closet. <laughs> Cute! Lily Lashes slays my life. Real ass bitch, give a fuck, baby. Big book, big old physics, big ass. I'm like shaking because I'm excited and nervous. And for me, sometimes when I drink too much, I get really embarrassing. Although people think I'm really fun when I drink too much, but I think I'm embarrassing. And I just want to be able to not black out. Like that's not why I'm shaking. I'm also like, like when I'm really, really excited about something and I feel like I need to rush. I feel like I'm not going to get there on time. And I just need to like calm down. I feel like that's my anxiety. It's like, it's like. Whoosh. So once I have all that on, that's when I judge how much bronzer and blush and highlight to actually put on. That's why I don't put on highlight. So now I'm really going to bronze my face my eyelashes i judge everything off my eyelashes i learned this from like kim kardashian's makeup artist this is called like haloing i think and you take the remainder of your foundation powder and then just like halo it on i can feel my lash lifting is it lifting does it look bad there my face looks so much better it's not i don't know why i feel like it is and then i'm gonna take this becca champagne pop highlighter i don't use highlighter that often but because i'm going to a club and there's gonna be light i feel like i need it cute just highlight everywhere i'm gonna go put on my costume i'll be right back so had a little issue with the costume it's a little big it's an extra small and it's big so these just hang down so that doesn't matter but it was these so i had to tie them but they kind of look bad there so i think i'm gonna tie them like that at the back see now it looks cute but at the time it was like these were like super loose. People say, when you get big boobs, everything's good. Well, no, it still is huge. So, so now I'm gonna put on my mascara. This is the Maybelline Pumped Up. I don't mascara my lashes before I put them on. I should've said that. I just kind of dot on my naturals once they're on because I feel like it's so much easier to do your mascara after. And then my bottoms, I kind of just sweep across. Now I'm doing Sweet Tea Lip Liner. I'm just gonna outline my lips, be right back. In Sweet Tea by Morphe. Cute, okay. Now, my favorite lipstick right now is this Aladdin um, Friend Like Me. And I just pat it, just lightens it up just a little bit. And then I had it like this. Oh, when I said Alexis was here, she got ready quick. That wasn't her, it was Dalton. <laughs> Cause he's driving me to the club. <laughs> well, driving me to my friend's house and then we're getting VIP to the club. But, all right, so there's lip gloss. I think I'm just gonna bring everything into my little backpack. I'm gonna bronze my face again, I think. <laughs> Probably don't need it, but we can always use a little bit of bronzing. Now I have to figure out what I'm gonna do with my hair. I fixed the little um, things here. It fits so much better now that I fixed it. Looks like that, I can move and everything. So my hair's a little greasy, but it just doesn't look good in pigtails. So wanna know something funny? I literally bought white scrunchies. I looked all day, went to the mall with my mom, not just for that, but <laughs> I was looking for white scrunchies as we were at the mall and like every store had every kind except white scrunchies, every kind. They had silver, they had pink and green and metallic everything. Can I put dry shampoo on my hair extensions? Well, I can now. <laughs> if they all fall out, I don't care. And nobody had white scrunchies because I thought white would be cute with this but honestly I just put my hair in pigtails with this it doesn't look good with this outfit it just doesn't I didn't want to wash it because it looks better in pigtails when it's not washed like that greasiness it just holds better so we are flopping just on our hair so if it does look a little greasy 
the club's dark. <laughs> See, it looks so much better with the hair down, I feel. So I'm just straightening it. Hopefully Alexis gets here soon. Like I'm almost now ready. I'm basically ready. People ask me all the time what kind of hair I have. I get it bleached to like the most <laughs> you can bleach your hair. <laughs> Love that for me. I just like it super white and gonna fall out when I'm like 30, like in here. <laughs> I'm putting on dry shampoo right now and somebody's phoning me and I like can't even be bothered. Watch, the VIP bus is leaving without us. It does look a little greasy. That just means that we're healthy. And then I have 22 inch tape-in extensions. I don't even remember how many packs of them I had. You guys can probably find the vlog of it. I say in that vlog, I need to take the makeup off of this piece of hair. I use blue shampoo and then I use, um, oh, what's my shampoo and conditioner? Eleven Australia, I think that's what it is. And it keeps the blonde like really, really blonde. And I'm using the Dove dry shampoo and I coconut oil it, I mask it. For it being this blonde, I like to keep it as healthy as possible. Okay, so this is a few days later because I completely forgot to show you guys my outfit. I was in such a rush, um, so I have this on a few days later and it's disgusting. So I'm wanting to take it off right now because there's like alcohol spilled all over here. It's gross. So I'm just putting this on to show you what it looks like that I'm taking it off and washing it. <laughs> okay, so I really, really love this. This was super cute. It was a little too like revealing, but I didn't even care, whatever. So basically my favorite part, this backpack, I got the most compliments on the backpack. Honestly, it's so cute. Um, I was able to carry everything with me. My camera in here, my cell phone, all my makeup, Alexis's vape and refills for her vape, her entire wallet, um, all of her makeup, gum, perfume is in here still. And if I didn't say I got this on Fashion Nova. So without the backpack, this is what the top looks like. It's so cute. There was nobody in the club dressed like me, so I was very happy about that. So this is how I had to tie it on the back. So I have <laughs> the whole outfit on. It's littler than I thought, but you know what? We're just gonna rock it. I feel a tiny bit insecure. <laughs> That's okay, we have these glasses, which I'm like, how is this at all Buzz Lightyear? Like these glasses are like, no. I'm so thankful that there's my little rocket ship. There's a bag so I can throw my cell phone in here, ID. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will talk to you guys all in my next one. Have a happy Halloween, love you, bye.